we're going to play a ballad for you called You've Changed. And one thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to read you the lyrics to this tune. So it's important to understand that these players that I'm talking about, Lester Young, Coleman Hawkins, Louis Armstrong, all of these, whether they sang or didn't sing, they still knew the lyrics to all of the standard tunes that they played. And so one thing that we encourage educationally now, at least I do, is that if a student is trying to learn what we call a standard tune, so the true definition of a standard tune is a tune that is taken from a Broadway show from the 20s through the 50s. And of course, we've come to accept years beyond that now, but primarily, uh, that's what we would call the Am Great American Songbook. So uh, those are tunes that have been lifted from Broadway shows. Normally they have a verse as well, so if you know anything about opera, or if you don't, you're about to learn. There's basically two parts to opera, recitative and aria. The recitative is more or less spoken, sung, and the aria is the par part that we walk away whistling, right? It's the melodic part. So that carries forward into what we might call light opera or Broadway show. And we basically uh, have spoken word and we have a verse which takes the place of recitative, which is partly spoken, partly sung. And then we have aria or the song, and that's the part that we have taken, extracted uh, from um, the show. And we use that, we now call that uh, standard tunes. So there's a difference, there's a distinction actually between a uh, jazz tune, which is something composed by a jazz musician for the purpose of improvisation, and a standard tune, which is a tune that's borrowed from somewhere else, a Broadway show in this case, and that's used as a vehicle for improvisation. Now, one of the interesting things that happened was in the 1940s, musicians got a little bit bored with playing them just as is, and so they would take away the original melody, write a new melody. That's called the contrafax or recomposition. Dizzy, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker did that. Other musicians that followed did that. So you would have the construct of the original tune with a new melody over the top. <coughs> so that's uh, one of the formats that uh, we have that we improvise on. Another one, of course, is the blues. Um, so standard tune, you've changed. Here's the lyrics. You've changed. That sparkle in your eyes is gone. Your smile is just a careless yawn. You're breaking my heart. You've changed. You've changed. Your kisses are now so blasé. You're bored with me in every way. Can't understand. You've changed. You've forgotten the words, I love you each memory that we shared. You ignore every star above you. I can't realize you ever cared. You've changed. You're not the angel I once knew. No need to tell me that we're through. It's all over now. You've changed. So as with the majority of standards, I would say 99% of them, they're a form of love song different aspects of love. This, this one is obviously the part of lost love, uh, as many of them are. But the Great American Songbook is essentially a, a book of love songs. So we're going to play for you. <laughs> 